recording this video at the gym it was so loud so i just promised myself that i was going to do it once i got home and since i just got here before i even take my clothes off i cannot sit on the couch or on my bed <laughs> clothes from from the gym so um i'm just going to sit on the floor and do this the athletic socks um i felt it was a very important topic because so many people um, question me in a good way, question me about the fact that I train without shoes. I'm very cautious as an athlete because the small things always add up to the big thing. A lot of movement starts from the foot and also a lot of impact is generated. I always pay a lot of attention to the socks that I wear. I love bright colors and I love looking very nice when I'm going to train because most of the times I'm training alone and I like to feel good when I just look at myself. Apart from the fact that they look really nice, they're very comfortable, the material is good. They offer heel and toe cushioning, which is very important during training. It's the silicone padding. They call it the non-slip silicone padding. So the impact. Some hospitals also give this to patients. Also have very enhanced breathability. The feet are always dry. That's one thing that I really love, especially when I'm training. They absorb sweat. And one of the other very important things that is that they offer ample ankle support. It's very important to work on strengthening your ankles and stabilizing them if, well, whether or not you train without shoes, it's important to work on um, strengthening and uh, stabilizing the ankles and the calves, which is neglected. Before you decide to train without shoes, I highly recommend that you strengthen your ankles. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. You strengthen your ankles and um and your calves so i always tell people to at least have a trainer if you're just starting out at least have a trainer with you if you're going to try training without shoes at first i don't know if you guys have tried compression socks but i feel like they can also pass for compression socks i always wear them when i'm flying they offer great comfort and the compression they there's this compression that they offer around the ankle that is very important while training and also while flying you catch flights a lot you understand that uh, compression socks and compression stockings are recommended by the doctor through blood circulation i love that when it comes to training there's so much to learn there's always something new to learn every day even for me um, or for people like me who've been training for years there's always something to learn every day there's always something someone else can teach you and the most interesting thing that i found out is they actually protect your feet from infections and they keep them order free so i personally have always been very big on investing in things that better my health and fitness from a very young age maybe it's because it's something that i've always been passionate about but i also know that it's an investment in the long run you benefit you know so if you have some money and you can afford them then buy them for you if you feel like you want to start training without shoes please go ahead it doesn't hurt to try you have to start somewhere i also started somewhere um just make sure you really work on strengthening and stabilizing your ankles and your calves don't neglect those muscles it's very important so that you can avoid having injuries and uh what else i'm so hungry i feel like <laughs> just want to go eat um i think that's it if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comment section and i'll definitely answer them thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys so so much kwaheri bye